If you ever wanted a really cool graphical way to see how much all the files on your computer are taking up space on your hard drive, then I've got a program I want to show you. Hello everyone and welcome back to CapTech. The program I want to show you is a free piece of software called WinDurStat. I'll put a link to the download in the video description if you'd like to download this and try it out yourself. Once you've downloaded it, the installation of the program is relatively simple. It's kind of the same procedure with everything else. You accept the user agreement, you decide where you want to install it, and additional language using to go with it, and then you're ready to start using the program. And then once you actually launch the program, you'll be greeted with this wizard to let you kind of select which drive you want to select. Now do keep in mind that the bigger the hard drive is in, like the more things you have on it, the longer it's going to take to scan it. You can see the progress bar along the bottom lets you know the progress of it, and the percentage is in the top left hand corner of the window. And then of course you see all the little Pac-Man stuff bouncing back and forth as it's going through and crunching data and getting a really good feel for everything that's on your system. And then when the program is done scanning everything, you'll get this really cool window popped up here. On the left side, you got the full tree view of everything that's going on in the window to, so you can see all the different individual files with on the hard drive. And then on the right hand side, you got a color grade for all the different kinds of files for all your applications, your system files, your ESDs, local disk files, WinRAR archives. It kind of gives you a really good breakdown. You see there's a ton of things there. And then of course you got a ton of different menu options along the top if you want to go through those as well. But one of the coolest things that you can do within the program is you can click on any of the colored squares down there, whether it's the big ones or the little ones, and it'll highlight and tell you exactly which file it is and stuff. So you can see exactly how much individual files are taking up. Of course, the bigger the file, the larger the amount of space it's taking up on the hard drive. And that is just kind of cool just to be able to see how much space each one of the different kinds of programs are taking up. Or if you go through and you start clicking some of the different information over on the right hand panel, you can see it'll highlight everything down in the bottom per grouping. So you can go through and see exactly how much an entire category of different kinds of files is taking up and where they're stored all over your hard drive. And another thing you can do on the tree view of all the files on that specific hard drive, all the folders there, if you click on the individual folders, it'll highlight an entire chunk of file groupings. So you can see how much specific, like your user data file, you can see how much space it's taking up on that specific hard drive. And then you can click within that and it'll give you a breakdown of which files are taking up the largest chunks there. This is just kind of a really cool graphical way to see all the stuff that's on your hard drive. In case you're just really low in space, you can see what is taking up the most amount of space. In case you may need to go through and uninstall some stuff, do some cleanups of some temporary files, that sort of thing. Just to give you a good visual representation of what's going on on your hard drive. And so that wraps up this week's tech tip video. Haven't done one of these in a little while. I thought this program was pretty awesome. A good way to kind of see what all is on your hard drive and give you a good colored representation. Makes it a little easier to see than just a long list of numbers. So hopefully you found the video useful or at least entertaining. If you did, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button down below the video. And be sure to subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss it on future videos. And of course, if you have any questions for me or an additional comments, drop in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for your time. You have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later.